Welcome yeah. to the Swimming From Home talk show. I'm here with Jacob Whittle, who, so where exactly do you live in the UK? Um, so I'm based in like the East Midlands, so like right in the center of the country uh, in a place called Derby, uh, just a little city. Uh, not many people know the area, but uh, Adam Peter came from the same sort of area. Uh, so yeah, that, that's something that you can put a link to it really. Yeah, that that's not a bad link to have. Um, so for, yeah. for <laughs> so can you first of all, can you take me through a little bit about your last year in swimming and kind of um, the highlights that you've had? Yeah. Um, so it's all it all seems like a, a big blur to me because um, everything's kind of blew up in the past year um, and a lot's mm-hmm. happened. Um, so kind of, uh, it started about la- last April was kind of where we started like opening my eyes really. Um, so at summer, tri- not summer trial, sorry, at the, um, European trials for me, uh, where I was just going my first ever trials, um, in Glasgow. Um, and I pulled some pretty good swims, um, got into some finals. Um, and I magically whipped up a, a 51, I think it was, um, in one of the finals, uh, which kind of blew my mind. Um, and I struggled to kind of keep my head on. Um, so my coach was like, yeah, that was a good swim, just keep, keep calm. Um, and from there on, really, uh, it was just all about trying to keep my head screwed on, not trying to go crazy. Um, when I got picked for European Juniors and uh, Youth Olympics, um, it was all just about keep my head on, don't go crazy, um, and just take everything that you can get. So it's just all all been this year trying to, even though as blew on, blew up, sorry, keep my head screwed, screwed to the ground, um, and don't like let everything uh, get over the top of me really. Yeah. So. So then I guess in the past few weeks, you know, obviously we have a worldwide pandemic. Um, are you, have you been able to swim the last few weeks? Well, I've, I've been trying to do some open water swimming, which I'm not, not necessarily into as such. My brother is well into it, but I've okay. been trying to get into it. So been going to like a, a local lake down, down the road and just swimming in there, trying to just, keep ticking over keep the feel for the water um but recently the government's also said that that's not classed as exercise um okay. well i'm not sure if any of you saw um some of the guys are, are getting these in theory the big paddling pools uh and tying a bungee cord around your waist and just swimming against that uh so we've decided to give it a shot uh so in the past two days we've been setting that up um and just swimming in my back garden really uh, <laughs> it's a good experience um not the ideal conditions but it it keeps you going yeah certainly and so uh how how you know you talked about keeping your head screwed on after kind of your your big summer last year have you do you feel like you've been able to keep your head screwed on during during these past few weeks just kind of with all this exterior craziness well me and my coach shut down probably a week before everything was shut down before trials was uh, postponed mm-hmm. um, before anything kind of went big um, and we just said we need to calm down make sure that we keep that same mindset um so i, I took that week just to like reset my mind really because uh, at that point I was kind of all screwed on trials um, and just doing the best I can really so I, I had that week which was really good I had that week to just reset um, and just prepare for anything that was happening so I think as it stands I'm doing a great job of just keeping keeping grounded and not getting too overwhelmed um, not getting too excited that I've got another chance, but not getting too down that I'm not going to get a chance this year. Um, so we're coping at the minute. Yeah, I mean that's that sounds like a really great balance. Is do you do you have 
exercises or, or things that you do to kind of keep yourself at that level of grounded? Um, I've got some great people around me. So I've got, um, like institutes like, uh, the English Institute of Sport and my local institute as well, that all feed in and, uh, help me try and keep that, uh, positive and like neutral, uh, mindset. Mm. Um, but it's all about just not overthinking it. Um, just trying to keep your head normal. Don't think about swimming all the time. Uh, but again, don't just switch off completely. So trying to just stay in the middle. Um, and I think over time you learn, uh, like my coach, we've all sat down and we've like tried to learn how to just keep that. Don't get too stressed, but don't not get excited. Um, we just managed to get it right in the middle. Um, and that, that helps in times like this. Um, so it's just a great, great thing to have really. Yeah, certainly. Uh, so you, you talked about not overthinking it. What, what, what else have, have you used to occupy your mind? Um, especially now that you can barely swim, you know, and decide yeah. your backyard on a tether. Yeah. So we've been trying to keep loads of projects, keep doing things, uh, trying to spend time with family. Um, but then also sat in the living room trying to find a pool has given me something to do uh and then obviously i've been spending loads of time outside uh i i'm a fan of gardening uh, not not the normal 14 year old thing to do but i've been doing a little bit of that recently um but then just getting at all of my core and rehab uh exercises to do just to keep me keep giving me something to do but also keep my fitness levels up and keep my strength up as well so it kind of kills two birds with one stone, really. Yeah, certainly. Uh, what What do you enjoy about gardening? What kind of drew you to that? Well, it's it's again something that can just calm me down. I can sit there. Nobody's like, you need to fold them clothes. I need to take them upstairs. There's nothing nothing to worry about. There's nobody saying like, oh, you need to go to the gym or anything like that. You can just sit down and you just do whatever you want, really. Uh, I know some people like to just sit there on the Xbox with the friends, but that's just my way of sitting down and just taking all the stress away. Um, so I think it's just great, really. Yeah. What do you garden? Do you grow certain things? Um, yeah. So I grow like uh, a wide range of stuff, but now because we're struggling to go to the shops, growing more veg, uh, just to keep the plate healthy, but without having to go to the shop as much. Yeah, certainly. So what, how, how strict are your, um, I guess, like staying at home recommendations, guidelines, like are the laws, like, can you leave the house? So we're allowed to leave the house uh, once a day for exercise. Uh, mm -hmm. So you're allowed to go on a run, a bike, uh, or just on a walk to walk your pets. Um, mm -hmm. But that's the only time you're allowed to go once a day. Um, so that's why I've got a gym uh, a temporary gym set up in my uh, garage just so that that's not classed as going out right. um, but it's still exercise so I'm able to use that twice a day um, and then also go on a run um, but then everyone else is also allowed to go shopping uh, for any necessities really that they need um, mm. but other than that you're not allowed out of the house unless you um, you can't work from home um, then that's it you have to stay in yeah yeah. Um, so that's, that's pretty wild. Do you, what, what is your schooling situation like then? Um, so we, we finished school, um, a week last Friday. So we've been off for like a week and a half now. Um, and the pretty much everything's online now. Uh, so all of our lessons, uh, are going on as normal, uh, until this Friday where we've been up for Easter. Um, so we're still doing all regular lessons, still learning everything uh, as we should just at home in a different environment. Uh, they have cut it down a little bit because obviously it's harder to learn things on your own. So it's just trying to do as much as you can as you would be at school whilst in this different environment. Yeah. Do you, are you someone who um, enjoys school generally? Do, do you... Is is that has that online transition been easy for you? 
sorry. I've, I've lost you a little bit. Oh, uh, can you hear me now? Are you good? Uh oh. Sorry, I've lost. Yeah, I think you're frozen on. Oh, there you oh, go. I can see now, yeah. All right, cool. Um, so has that online transition been? Oh, sorry, I nearly lost you there. Can you now? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so has that online transition from school has that been an easy one for you to kind of manage? Um, it was a new thing at the start. It was kind of like, oh, I'm at home. I just want to stay in bed. It's like it feels <laughs> right. like a holiday. Um, yeah. So was new, like the first day it was like everyone's kind of like oh I've got to do this but then at home some people feel like oh you don't have to do it but it's like once I brought myself to do it it was is a lot better as such uh, so I brought myself to kind of have that them rules like I need to do this uh, so now it's just comes as, as it does at school really so I know that I need to do it I need to do that work so um, it feels quite normal now, so it's just get on with it as I would at, sc at school and just do the work. Nice. Yeah, I mean, which uh, yeah, I feel is very similar to swimming. <laughs> you just, yeah. you know, kind of do the work, try to find some enjoyment in it. Um, yeah. So I see you're wearing a Funky Trunks shirt. Can you tell me about... Yeah, uh, so I, I always keep... Oh. Okay, sorry, go ahead. Sorry, I'll, I'll, you broke up a little bit at the end. Uh, so I didn't quite hear you at the end. Okay, so yeah, can can you tell me about what your partnership with Funky Trunks has been like thus far? Um, well, they've been great uh, so far. So they've been so supportive. Um, I, I was with them, um, I think, just before trials in April, maybe just after, I can't remember. Okay. Um, but it was, um, they brought me on um, and they were great from the start, really. Um, and it was kind of before everything blew up. Uh, shoots, um, and then also this year they took us, well, helped us to get to Australia. Um, Erica from Funky Chunks, she helped us get out there. Um, mm helped us train with the North Coat, which is one of the clubs out there, um, mm -hmm. and supplied our team with some kit. Um, and they've always been really supportive, really, um, willing to help um, our club, um, even though they're not really in, um, in any, any uh, sponsorship with them. Uh, they're still willing to help our club and everyone else in it, even though it's just me and a couple of the other girls that are involved in Funky. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, so any any closing thoughts you've got? Any uh, maybe advice for, you know, s club swimmers who are your age kind of out there really missing the pool? Yeah, well, I think everyone really needs to think, well, it's not, even though we've not got this year as such, um, you don't need to take it as, oh, this year's over, so my career's over, or this year's over, so my whole hobbies should finish. Um, I think too many people, I'm not saying that everyone does, but too many people, I think, uh, take swimming as like a swim, to swim basis season, so that's it. Um, or as Olympians are, like, it's not every four years that, that matter it's just every single swim that you can do has got to be the best so even though we've not had like even though we might not be swimming for six months you've got to still keep going uh you've lost them six months but nothing's over um so i think too many people are just thinking oh that's it uh so it's not over we're all in the si same situation um and just take it as it comes just do everything that you can right now to try and get keep yourself on track for when we do get back into the pool awesome well thank you so much for your time jacob i really appreciate it no problem thank you for asking me to come on